straight to Tom after you guys look at this shirt that you made me buy for punishment last oh, Is that bad, Scooter? Oh, your punishment's a shirt? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm weeping. I'm weeping for you. Oh, Tom. such a terrible life you have. What's up, everybody here? I'm I'm serving out my punishment. Good. Wearing a Tom Wilson jersey. One of the biggest scumbags in all of the NHL. I'm I've been forced to wear his attire. So not gonna look, lie, that you is guys a, happy. That's a really nice jersey, though. It looks thank you, Gra phenomenal. Thank you, Graf on T Roll for putting two hundred dollars in my kitty. It's literally in a processing facility in China. Good. I checked today. But yeah. before I want to address this punishment. So if there was a game seven tonight, I was going to veto the punishment because of superstition. I wouldn't want to buy a Suns jersey. Mm -hmm. But obviously they won and I couldn't get it in time. So instead of vetoing, I just donated to a Phoenix based charity the cost of a jersey wow. and still dressed up. Wow. So fair enough. Fair enough. So wait, that's that's we want to reconcile that. So. Yeah, that's that's very kind of you. And I still learned the yeah. dance. Moves. It was really I weird. I, I just kind of think that instead it's not a punishment anymore. You're dunking on the Suns now. Let I mean, me that's that's a you problem. That's that's what you <laughs> said for me to do. So, <laughs> Scooter, what are you wearing? I mean, you see, you see the Ed Sheeran exclusive. Oh, look at the E and the S. Oh my God. I mean, they yes. went all out. They went all out for this. Oh you man, you can't even get this. I would I love for you to take me your loving arms in that jacket. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, Hello, Whoa. everybody. Whoa. It is, what day is today? Thursday, October yeah. 28th, 2021. Am I, the, am I the only one that thinks it's Friday today? It feels like a Friday. For y'all, my punishment. Some of you who are perceptive might be seeing this on the side of my freaking head. <laughs> because last week I won... And why don't you ISO me here? One in the oh, super chat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll ISO or, you, baby. Yeah, there we go. The top here. And I had to get Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And I didn't just do one side. Above and beyond. I went there I doubled go. it up. Wow. Wow. Did you paint that on yourself? I did. I had a stencil and everything, and it was very difficult to do this. <laughs> like, so thank God my art degree is coming in handy now that Finally. I can paint. I five. I have a quick question. Why would you do that? They just lost to the Broncos. Oh, okay. That's in. T that's two segments away. Two segments wow. away. I bring wanted us all to back. It. It's called foreshadowing. It's yes. called foreshadowing. Can I? I, can I, I was say in one it. last thing. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Urinating tree. <laughs> As a tree. A tree. So, I, <laughs> it's terrible. That. I got a, I got it's like I got a nutsack here. It's like <laughs> Brandon Staley on a fourth down in his own 25. Woo! Wow. I'm a tree. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> it keeps falling on me. I I don't uh, know how to <laughs> it makes you look like a, a joyful. God child a gleeful child maybe <laughs> like listen i just want to take a moment and thank tree um for helping the hobbits when they were in the woods and, <laughs> yeah. and oh, helping dude. take I, down Saruman. I, I appreciate that i have to eat <laughs> a really bad sandwich, sandwich. from Permantis. from Permantis. Permantis. Oh, yeah. prometheus ladies and gentlemen if Drummer, you're please. not comfortable with your sexuality, please look away from the camera. One Scooter McGruder dressed as a Packers Ooh. cheerleader. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh. What am I doing oh, 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 oh. with my life? Oh, oh I'm not a chicken. No! Listen, okay? If you lose a bet, you got to take it seriously, okay? That's I'm what I secure in my masculinity. Take your screenshots now, okay? I don't care. I'm a grown man. Do your worst, Internet. Grown Do woman. your worst. Grown oh, let's, woman. Uh, let, let's, let's put this. Uh, oh, no, that's not, that's not what I want. Grown person of undeterminate gender. We'll call that, it that way. 
Yeah. More well, than just I'm the tips. That. Whoa! Ooh. Can we get a spotlight on that? Can so, we get can a we solo? solo this man? Solo this man. Solo. Yep. This is uh this is dark purple. This is a dark, dark purple. Yeah. Just the tips. Just the T. You can't see because yeah. I have so much hair and because the Vikings won, I just went with the theme. And, and uh, definitely do not take we got, a we screenshot gotta get a of this. We gotta get a yeah. zoom. Do it's not take a, a screenshot. You Whatever you do, closer? make sure you definitely do not tag him on Twitter at Tom Grassi Comedy. Don't do that. Whatever you do, dude. I'm gonna say this. You look like David Arquette just at a midlife crisis. Thank you. Good. I think now would be an appropriate this. time to let you. I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for this four minute message. You guys are about to get. So, dude, right. you 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 made Enjoy. like eight hundred that day. Enjoy. I, I made I think nine hundred, like a third, a third of it went to this. So you guys Good. better enjoy it. What's up, yo, Scooter? What's up, my man? This is your boy, T.O. I am in the building. Let me say this. This is not a great time to be a Cowboys fan or a Florida Gator fan right now. All I can say is you had a bad, 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 bad weekend. I'm not sure what to tell you, bro. But you might want to get on somebody else's bandwagon. You might want to jump on this T.O. bandwagon. Dude, I cannot believe this. Hey, let's start with the Florida Gator. Let's start there. My guy, your guy, Dan Mullen, he's up out of there as of this weekend. Uh, the Florida Gators are not, they ain't doing no damn chumping. They ain't doing none of that. And, uh... I would say, how about them uh, cow boys? But how about them cow girls, dude? What's going on down there in D in D town, dog? What's what's going on in Dallas, man? Dog, they are taking a thumping. Let me tell you something, man. For all you cowboy fans out there, and I'm not hating. I'm just saying. I just keep it 100. I'm gonna keep it 100. It ain't how you start, it's how you finish. Don't get too excited because you guys started out, I think, I don't know, a little bit on fire. You know, Dak is playing. He's playing pretty decent, but something is not right. Something is not right down there in D-Town. All I can say is K-A-R-M-A. -A. That's all that is is going on. Hey, they shouldn't have cut me. You know what I mean? So, I, yeah, I'm going I'm gonna to say it's because of me. So, with that being said, um, you might want to, um, you know, not bet on the Cowboys for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, you might was go ahead and just get ready for the new year. So you see my Christmas outfit. I'm I'm ready for the festivities. Thanksgiving is around the corner, man. So I'm giving thanks, man. I'm giving thanks to 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 you and the people. Uh, I'm just thinking. I thank you. I thank you, Scooter. Thank you for reaching out to me, man. Cause uh, yeah, I I know you're probably having a bad week, bad Monday at that. Um, it wasn't a great weekend for you. And so I did this, uh, this video intentionally, um, at the last hour because I was waiting to this weekend, uh, pass to see what would transpire, uh, with, uh, everything going on down there in, uh, Gainesville with your Gators. Uh, yeah. Uh, you might want to, uh, go talk to the Tiger King and maybe you can get a Crocodile King or something to turn that thing around. Um, uh, but right now, bro, it's not really looking good for you if i were you i would go ahead and just uh you know play some fantasy basketball or something like that just stay out stay away from football to next year you know just regroup and see what happens next year that's all i got to say man um yeah i i, I can't say how about them cowboys and it look like how about them cowgirls and again i'm not hating Dak is playing pretty well uh considering uh everything that's transpired but hey man um you don't need to bet your friends no more. Don't bet your friends. Lead, lead the Cowboys and lead, and lead your Florida Gators. Leave them where they at. Yes, leave them where they at. <laughs> Dog, you can't. Bro, if I were you, just throw all your Florida Gator gear away. Throw any Cowboy stuff you got away until they actually do something. Because right now, it's not looking good. This is T.O. I'm signing out. Get your popcorn ready.
Wow. Like, they didn't just blow that, but they doubled up on the amount of losses yeah. that Scooter predicted. Uh -huh. What? Uh, and the punishment <laughs> was what, Scooter? Was the what? punishment was I had to get the biggest size available. Ryan Fitz Magic jersey. Okay. And we did that. We did that. This is the biggest size available from Fanatics. Uh, this is a let me get ready. Yeah, back it on up. This is a 5XL <laughs> right here. I don't even know if you guys can see. Oh, we see it. Oh, oh man. my God. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Can y'all see my knees? Okay, yeah, yeah. this is. Oh, oh there it is. That's oh. a that the birthday boy. <laughs> I feel like Scooter is like from Happy Gilmore when she's like, you want breakfast? The lady from that. That's the way I feel. <laughs> that's a prom dress right there, baby. Oh, my God. That's a wedding dress. Well, you're, let's you're go back to every... a Redskins fan. This yeah, is what your money buys, Chad. Uh... <laughs> can I get a look at the back, too? Can I, can okay, I see yeah, the just, back? Just to yeah. confirm, the fits, the fits, the fits magic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is how a normal-sized jersey fits me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we? Wow. Can see it? Wow. So packing it up. It oh, just wow. feels he is a little yeah. twerk action there. It feels but, very 90s, very 90s. Oh, like, yeah, this this is normal 1994. People you would see people on the streets just walking around like so, something magnifique. Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> we're, we're, ladies and gentlemen, is the girls <laughs> and boys here for another edition of clickbait sports. And you'd be like, Tom, why are you wearing your Friday outfit on Thursday? <laughs> and I would respond. That's the punishment for this week. Unfortunately, Amazon didn't send me the choker and the headband and the fishnets that came along with it. But that's okay. I'll just get those on my own dime. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, of course, I'm not alone, so you don't have to look at this the entire time. I am joined by, of course, the Brandon Perna from That's Good Sports, the Five Point Vids from Five Point Vids, and the Urinating Tree Steelers gone Super Bowl from the Urinating Tree. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. the Bears, baby. Finally got them. That's it. That's it. Purple right. and black. Oh, yeah. Purple and black, baby. Oh, yeah. These are the terrible to type in. They're near impossible. But I did get the punishment. These are a few months in the making. I was just waiting for the right time to do them. And as you notice, I do have a bunch of nail polish on my fingers because I was trying to work on this. You're bad at everything. Oh, yeah. no shit. I I've never done nails before, Mr. Dick. I'm sorry. Well, I, are, I have we're to look so good ready. for when I get We're still streaming the tonight. Scooter's channel. Okay, right in the book. not here. Oops. So, hold on. We made it. Whoops. One minute. Well, my punishment was that I was supposed to uh, imitate or replicate the Skip Bayless photographs, several of them. <laughs> you can't lose in these shoes. So I was supposed to put on some jewelry, a really tight black shirt, a belt, and then like either jeans or sweatpants that look black, and then a pair of shoes. So what I did was I found some of the ugliest crap you could imagine. I found a really ratty t-shirt some old sweatpants. I found some ratty <laughs> shoes that I do the lawn with. And I also had like a random uh, gold, like a fake money chain thing that I was in like a couple months ago. So uh, it, this is absolutely terrible. You cannot lose in these shoes. I put I tied that belt as tight as I could. I look like <laughs> I look like a pair. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Oh yeah. Why is there a painting just in the middle of your living room? And that was where I put like, uh, do you see what's on the left? Oh my yes. god! It's a what it's a post <laughs> God's name is that poster? It was him on the on our other show, the dumpster fire. It was so, him uh, being made to wear a male romper. <laughs> I really thought you were naked for a second. <laughs> the <No>. best. <laughs> The best part of this photo is you can see the dishwasher open in the corner of the yes. scene over there. Yes. I'm like, it's so bad. Go back to the other one. Go back to the other one. That belt is begging for mercy right now. It is I know. I had to as tight as I could. I can't hold that much longer, Cotton. <laughs> There's a storm just can't... coming. I can't do it. Pick one of these up. I'm pretty sure They're you'll be good. able to get one of these on sale. Anywhere, like they, I, I might give this to one of you guys, just so that we can keep this tradition going. But that's why we're having you do the book report, so we don't have to oh, read it. A line, okay, that's fair. That's fair. 
Okay. So, do we have the first slide on screen? Is Mr. Teacher Grassi prepared, ready, the rubric? Oh, I, I've been prepared for weeks. Rupert. Okay. Well, that makes one of us. Yeah, so, we need, the, uh, we need the PowerPoint here, Director Brandon. Yeah. Some, Is some there a way to make that big? I think the pot, top. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, kinky, it's disconnected. Kinky. Now it's connected again. Okay. We good. Okay. okay welcome. Scooter, whenever you are ready. Okay. Welcome, one and all. Everyone just shuffle in and uh, prepare yourself. Questions at the end chat. Let me know if you have any questions. <laughs> Above the line by Urban Meyer. Uh, it, actually, I think it was written by Wayne Coffey. It, 90 percent was probably <laughs> written by Wayne Coffey and. <laughs> Urban just told him the other ten percent. Speaking of coffee, bench warmer brew, armchair quarterback. By the way, Scooter, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Um, you know, everyone here can read, so let's make sure that when we're presenting, we're not just reading off the slide. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, I will 100 percent be reading off the slide. That's about all I'm going to be doing. Did, uh, did you have any? Did you have any fantastic wait. effects and cheesy sound effects to go with this? Because no, really, no animations. Animations, no okay. 3D. Uh, you have to really I'm, bare bones. Hold on. I'm writing uh, PS10 for no you, animations. I'm yeah. a visual learner. Can you please yeah. make a full screen? Thank you. Yes. Can we? Yeah. Can we go to the presentation mode on the slideshow? Is okay. there a way to do that? There is. If you just go to slideshow, you, you could do view. You can go to view right there. View. View. Uh -huh. Yep. That's one. Uh -huh. Yep. And then there it is. There it is. Oh, baby. Okay. Welcome. There everyone. we go to the first book report ever on clickbait sports and hopefully the last one the no. book is called above the line it is by urban meyer <laughs> but it is more than football <laughs> this whole book is about more than football it's about the cold hard facts of life chat okay in this book urban meyer painstakingly details the lessons he's learned over his career and describes what it takes to be a winner in all aspects of life Moreover, my details which leadership styles work and when to employ differing tactics. The book is the antithesis of his current alleged conduct. It's also garbage. Do not read this <laughs> at all. Wow. He's basically, also critical. Yeah. Uh, basically, is, uh, he's, he's if you break it good. down, he's, this he's book happy. is really a collection of stories really, uh, from his time coaching. He provides a decent outline of how to be a successful coach and leader. He details how to live life, quote unquote, above the line, on and off the field to become a relentless leader and performer. Oh, he's very relentless, all right. Just not so either. he's relentless. He takes you through his Florida. time when he's at Florida, go Gators. You already know, three national championships. Let's go. He takes you through his time at Ohio State winning those national championships before he was fired from Jacksonville in the middle of his first coaching season. Some say he might be the worst coach ever, but that was before Ooh. this book came out. Uh, Tom, will you, uh, will you be Dustin Shores' teacher? Always, Dustin. Always. Dustin. I'm unfortunately Scooter's teacher right now. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if we could just go to the next slide, please. There we go. Ooh, now, the pictures. Right, this looks uh, fancy. If Ooh. you get to the end of this book, what you will come to find is that you wasted a lot of time. That's A. Like you could have done so <laughs> many other things, but you chose to read this book. Essentially, what it comes down to is culture. This is one aspect of the book. Be intentional about your culture. Okay, we're seeing something right now. The Bucks, they chose to bring in Antonio Brown. Was that a right fit for their culture? We'll discuss later. But that's something that is discussed in this book right here. You got to know your culture. Above the line is a philosophy for life, not just football. So everything that you read in this book, you can relate to your personal life, including football, including other sports as well. That's a good question. Address your failures. They are catalysts for improvement. So basically, in this book, he gives a couple of exam examples of players failing and him having to talk to them about doing certain things, not doing certain things. And he said, the longer you wait to address these, the bigger the problem is. So you want to nip everything in the bud, which was is what Jacksonville did. 
Was one of those players Aaron Hernandez? Questions at the end, please. please okay, all sorry. Questions no, sorry. At very, the well. End. very well. Very well. Run right towards there. problems. This leads into the, the next in the bug. You want to run towards your problems. Okay, once you realize there is a problem, run towards it. You've identified what it is. You've given now solve it. Which actually, I like that one. That is actually one of the points I did like because it's like once you know there's a problem, solve it, and then set the standard. Okay, at the University of Florida, we have a standard, the Gator standard. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and look at Florida, the standard work. I'm not sure where some things change, where the line the line might have shifted is what maybe have happened. Yeah, might have got might have gone back under the line. Mm -hmm. Well, that is essentially the main points. And then lastly, <laughs> lastly, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. But uh, in most books, right, there's conflict. There's an antagonist, a protagonist. They go through a journey. And at the end of the journey, there's some result. This book was not really like that. There was no main antagonist. There was no main protagonist it's just him talking about his past life so as far as conflict goes the conflicts is relegated basically to the football teams he was playing and the losses that he took right in right. the book though not really that much conflict in life though a lot of conflict. <laughs> and remember if we go back to his previous points once you identify a problem run towards your problems the solution being in this case for the jacksonville jaguars Firing Urban Meyer. And ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh, this is what I learned. Yeah. If you just heard the last like 30 seconds of what I just said, you do not need to read this book. It is literally all a long story with pictures. <laughs> Does it show you how to adjust your camera focus? Is that in the yeah. book as well? That, oh. Is that okay. the, uh, have we reached the end? Is that the last slide? Yeah, uh, this is yeah, the, uh, the that is the, how we're all feeling right now. That was one a, star a, review. Wow. I'm sorry. What did you learn about the book? Yeah. How did this affect you personally? I want to what know. I learned is that no one else needs to read this book ever. That's what I learned. Um, <laughs> how did it affect me personally? I don't have that time that I could have done literally anything. Uh, editing a video, talking about sports on clickbait. All of that's gone because we had to do this book report. Chat, this is what your money buys. I'm sad. Hey, we appreciate it. Would you rather buy a share of the Green Bay Packers? Does does anyone have any questions? Because, yes. like... I do. A yes. uh, quick question. Uh, this is from Bruce Allen of the Washington Reskins. Is the culture actually damn good? Which culture? The, no, just the culture. The, the culture. culture, yes. The culture. The culture. Is the culture uh, damn good? Does I just want to know in the few bullet points. Um, it, it seemed that the structure of the presentation wasn't the greatest, um, in which it looks like there was either blocks of text or there were such few, there's so few words on the slides uh, that bullets wouldn't even have been warranted. Um, uh, there, I was expecting you to read off the slides the entire time. And while that definitely did happen, um, you did improvise a little bit, you know, demonstrating your knowledge. So that was actually a plus there. Had some nice enthusiasm. Um, your summary, which basically should have been your thesis, I thought was very general, uh, wasn't really, you know, specific at all. And while it is supposed to be a summary, if I was to read that, I don't think I would understand or get a good understanding of what the book was about. Um, the slides themselves were very short. A uh, few descriptions were given. There really wasn't a lot of analysis um, on any of the slides. You did a little bit with the quotes page. I would say that was definitely your best slide because um, you know you were able to elaborate that on a little bit. Uh, there was no works cited page. Um, and I also have a note here that your camera was not focused similar to the report you gave. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, um, I think we can go and start uh, grading this here, folks. So we can look at the first box here and look at claims. Chat, let me know what your letter grade is right now in the comments. Let me know, stop playing. Okay, so we can start with claim here. No. So on a one no. through four scale, we can no. take a look here. Um, maybe, Fern, if we could zoom in a tiny bit just to make that a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> just a smidge. 
just uh, that I think that'd be great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so with four points, meaning that it got full credit, it would have a central thesis. Uh, it was clearly, oh God, it was clearly stated uh, as well as, folks, this is for four points, the four points. Oh, uh, clearly stated what about five points? Maintain. Come on. You, you had a perfect chance to make it real clickbaity with the bald man up there and you don't even do that with a room. Sorry, come on. And demonstrate strong understanding and complexity. Um, do we? Does anyone give Scooter a four here? Uh, I'm going to say no. no there was a more over comma. Are you? How much more complex does it need to get? I mean, it was 250 pages, so I imagine there is at least more over comma. I mean, I mean, your critique of his leadership was that you shouldn't read this book. Yes. That's not a critique of the, the Tom, that's a critique of the book. Tom, to be fair to Scooter, you're giving Urban Meyer a lot of credit. Yeah. A lot. No, listen, I, I could do a report on green eggs and ham, you know, and that and that's a child's book. Okay. Yeah, but Dr. You Seuss was a genius. I he think probably would have led the Jack four wins. Yeah. Dr. Um, I think we know what so what, what do we uh, we have a consensus be. on how many points for this first uh section? Are we allowed I'd say to two. Two, points. Two, two points. Two points. Okay. So two, two points. points. Two points reclaimed. All right, if we could go down to the uh, the next part here, uh, that is going to be your evidence. Now, here I think we're going to have some problems here. Uh, pro number a four point response would be provides thorough uh, support, facts, details, examples, and sources. Uh, description includes depth, <laughs> uh, as well as effective and clear contextual understanding of Urban Meyer's leadership. Um, this one, if I had to be completely honest, this is going around a one. This one, this, there he really did good. show a picture of Urban in the bar with the co-ed, though. So that to me was plenty. I, I of feel like that's at least a three. two for the picture. I'll at give at least three, two because I like pictures. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it made it relevant. I'd say one and a half, maybe a two. Okay. A two. So we have a two. We have a three. Uh, Perna, what would you give us? Two. Okay. So we go to two. Okay. So we go with two points there. Okay. We can go with two points here. Jeez, okay. Tom, you're a communist. Picture. Uh, just moving down to analysis here. Um, so this is substantial depth and relevance, explaining the meaning and significance and uh, of or and or the relationship between Meyer and leadership. Uh, and then some strong support, uh, connecting it back to your overall thesis, which I mentioned before was pretty general. Um, so this one, yeah, I, I'd say at best we're, get, we're getting looking at a two. Uh, I'm going to go with a two as well. Yeah, and then I'm going to put, putting I'm gonna Tebow up there is not going to help you. I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah, okay. So Perna goes with a two, and then the okay, yeah, one here. since there was zero um, pictures of Tim Tebow shirtless, that's a huge doc Makes in sense. my book. I was just hoping one you didn't shirtless see that. Tebow might have gotten Scooter all fours. Honestly, yeah. uh, just one uh, shirtless uh, Tebow might have gotten you on all fours. I knew Damn. I should have added it. I was all contemplating. Five. Yeah, but and then, I was thinking then, like monetization purposes. Finally, I here, could have sent you a whole uh, archive if you needed. Okay, next time. Uh, next we time. could do uh, JJ uh, Watt. So writing um, is, you know, I, I think that there wasn't a lot that was actually written uh, out of the structure. I didn't think there was too many grammatical errors, so that's that's a positive. I Very would actually good. say maybe. Yeah, his you know, his punctuation was good. I'd say like, maybe we go to three there. here. I say we go to about three here. All right, I'll, I'll take a three. I'll take a three. That's a win for that's a win for Scooter. Okay, so any of us, that's let's take a look here. So it's an average. You had nine total points here. And if you actually scroll down a little bit, Perna, there is a rubric that's beneath that's that a for question. a scoring grade. Um, well, so you got nine points here. Uh, so basically averaging <laughs> this entire thing out. Uh, so you had three twos as well as a three. So you basically averaged between a 64% and a 68%. Hey, pass. That I'll take theoretically that. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'll take that. He passed, but wasn't there a penalty for lateness? Yes. There was a penalty yes. for lateness. So because the uh, uh, the lateness, so that's going to detract at least a full point here, which means that you'll be at a solid two. I'll take that off for the writing for the three you gave, meaning you got a 64, you did not pass, and you need to buy Packer stock now. <laughs> he Whoa. got the D. So... Um, and that is a fantastic a D deal. is not passing. Thank you. My D it's is very nice. I've been told my D is very nice. A, 60, a 65 percent is passing. Yeah, I bet you think that as well. 65. A 65. A 65 is passing. Yeah. All right. Da, 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 all right. Come on, Tree. Take off the your pleasure. Vote. I mean, take off all up. mine because the Steelers oh, are going to the Super Bowl. Yeah! We're going to the Super Bowl. We're going to fluke our way to it. 
because the ball she is impressive. I almost did it too. <laughs> what else, Super Bowl baby? Oh wow! This is my near fuel. Super Bowl. He slime myself. Wow. So, should we just play the footage? Shall we? Like I feel like this is not slime. It's just a green juice, and I'm scared. Here we go. Are we sure like we want to do this or I'm scared. It's like it's windy. All right. I'm procrastinating. I don't Okay. Just do it. Okay. It looks weird. Okay. Here we go. Left right or right left? Right left. Right left. with my life bro what am i doing with my life all right bro i'm done I'm, do i even continue going on clickbait bro this is not worth it <laughs> i couldn't condense it any further than that so you're gonna have my voice over here with a number of stills from the from the movie itself and this really is just don't watch it. If anything, this is a warning to not watch it. Watching Tree shake his ass is a million times better. I can say ass because it's in the Bible and it's truly, truly awful. So with that Did being it. said, here is the five minute and 40 second video review of this godforsaken movie. <sighs> Home team. The wonderful film based off of Sean Payton's time as a high school football coach starring Kevin James is quite the film. And you know you're in for a treat as soon as the movie starts. As you see actual Super Bowl footage, including Peyton Manning, throwing an interception. And instead of it being Sean Payton, it has just been subbed in for Kevin James. Now, of course, this movie is going to take a turn and going from the highs of the Super Bowl to the lows of the suspension of Sean Payton during Bounty Gate, in which he has an assistant who, haha, <laughs> because she's a woman, doesn't understand football. They play that for no laughs. Sean Payton heads to Texas to watch his high school son play the football. And we're introduced to the team, but not before Sean Payton checks in at a hotel and he starts the amazing feud with the desk clerk there. And there's a really funny line where he asked if there's rooms and the desk guy is like, oh, there's only the presidential suite. And Sean Payton's like, OK, that's fine. And he's like, oh, but it's one hundred and twenty five dollars a night. And Sean Payton's like, yeah, that's still fine because, oh, wow. Big city money coming to a small town. Now, before I get into the actual football here, I have to say the feud between Kevin James, I'm sorry, Sean Payton and the desk clerk is just so amazing. There's a jacuzzi that keeps on making noise throughout the night and Kevin James has to call the desk clerk and is like, ah, this noise is bad. And the desk clerk's like, some guests find it soothing. <laughs> Funny jokes. There's another time where there's a lot of noise that's coming from another room and the desk clerk goes, oh, that's the royal suite. If you don't like that, I could bring a fan up to disguise the noise. And of course, this all ends with the desk clerk showing his wife giving birth uh, to Sean Payton and shows the picture mid-birth. This is the kind of comedy that we're working with here. Now, don't think the laughs stop it there because Sean Payton heads to this small high school and we meet the coach of the team. And of course, that's played by that guy who was in the Twilight movies. And he does keep his shirt on, which was a bit surprising. And of course, you have an assistant coach and how we're introduced to him is his neighbor died and he stole his bicycle. Sean Payton's over in the stands and who does he see? Up his ex-wife. However, who's his ex-wife canoodling with? her brand new husband played by Rob Schneider. And they're in a Snuggie, and the Snuggie is so warm, it's melting the chocolate in their trail mix. These are actual jokes and scenes from this 
movie. Why, God, why did you make me watch it? Well, it turns out the high school team is downright awful, so much so that their scoreboard's not even on because they haven't scored a freaking fracking touchdown all year. This all changes, though, once Sean Payton starts to get involved, and oh no, what happens? They score a touchdown, and of course, it's Sean Payton's son. He runs back a defensive fumble. They celebrate like they won the game, even though they lost like 38-6, to and that's when things start to turn around. However... This is when the drama really kicks in because for some reason, sports media outside of this small town starts picking it up and saying, oh man, there's a feud that's a brewing between this random high school coach and Sean Payton. Wow, drama. Well, Sean Payton starts taking over plate calling duties and all of a sudden the team starts to win and get better and better. There's one phenomenal scene in which they're playing in the rain and all the kids are really sick and one starts to vomit. And Twilight Man goes, hey coach, they're all sick, we should pull them. And Kevin James slash Sean Payton's like, no, let's not do that. They run a play and the kid starts projectile vomiting on all of the opposing players. (laughs) <laughs> but the kids are so grossed out that they don't realize that the Warriors, which is the team, sorry I didn't mention that before, that Sean Payton is coaching, they run it in for a touchdown and they win, and everyone starts vomiting, which is what I wanted to do after watching this movie. As we reach the climax of the film, it's the Porcupines versus the Warriors, and Sean Payton has a chance to win the game. However, Harlan, a small child who is their field goal kicker, who hasn't made a single kick all season, he's like, it's the final game, everybody plays. And they send the little small child in who then kicks the field goal, except it goes wide right, misses completely, and makes the scoreboard explode. And all the... the Players start chanting, and they're so happy and celebrating because that scoreboard, ah, it was so bad when they sucked. They they still lost the championship game, but this is this means something. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Sean Payton also reconciles with his estranged son. I don't really care about that, though. Oh, and I almost forgot Bill Cowers in this movie for like two minutes because he's running plays with Sean Payton on how to make this high school team better. Good God, this movie sucked. The movie concludes with the best possible outcome. Sean Payton returning to his office, greeting his assistant, who's like, wow, you're a lot more patient now after you spent a year coaching those kids. And she's, he's like, ha, 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 don't get used to it, ha, ha, women in sports. And then he gets to his office where he's greeted by the janitor and the janitor is like, man, we really sucked without you. And what do you see? The janitor is the real Sean Payton in the worst wig you could possibly imagine. And that's how the story ends. This movie, if I had to give it a ranking, I would rather get a colonoscopy out of 10. Wow. Wow. Uh, This sounds... I went above and beyond for that punishment. I went above and beyond. That movie was horrific. <laughs> that five I minutes tell- of you describing it was horrific. So yeah. it was bad. And I could tell your passion <laughs> right there. Like it, it, uh, in terms of like torturing foreign terrorists out of 10, how would you rate that? I mean, I got to be honest, Tree. I know you're going to disagree. I would rather listen to Antonio Brown's album. I, uh, 100%. <laughs> Scooty, scoot, scoot. Oh my god. <laughs> and, more. and the guy you want to talk to next, I'm gonna put him on solo layout right here. He's got a little punishment. Uh five points bids, or should we call him the cat in the hat? Can you show us what you look the like? There we oh. go. Ooh. That's a fitty for the kitty right there. Kitty goes. That is disturbing. Meow. I do not want to do this show today. This is disgusting. <laughs> what was this I punishment? I must What's not up? have been on. What's up? <laughs> this must what? have happened when you were off. What was the this punishment, is, though? He, got a tail? he had to dress up like a cat. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we can really mm-hmm. see the poor design because you see the back of his shirt that's still open. I, I, I feel like he's just about I, to get skinned, I can't but it's unfortunately... It. Oh, well, tell me that's what they all say. Yeah, tell me why. You know, five did not purchase this. This was already in his wardrobe. He just got it out, yeah. put it on. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, this like... nose is impossible. Like I, can, I will not make the. Were you supposed to have face nose. paint? I did get the face paint, but like the nose is is oh, it was too yeah. good. 
Adam oh, looks like the guy Dustin that they Shorts won't. loves the cat suit, by the way. There's a hundo. There's a hundo, everyone. Yeah, buddy. This is what your money buys. Yes, it's <laughs> unfortunate for buys. all of us, and uh, and this is it's why we to my I gotta take this me. nose off. I can't. I can't do. Big sh Can we Big see this? Can we yeah, see yeah, this? I'm just gonna show it to you Stop now. Stop running. This will be a 45-yard drive by Robbie Gold. To send the 49ers to the NFC Championship game. Kick was down the middle and good! 49ers win it! San Francisco is moving on with a 13-10 win here at Lambeau. And this crowd and that Packers team is stunned. Special teams, the difference tonight. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't, we I don't, go ahead. What we should have done for your for the Robbie Gold punishment is had you go and kick field goals around people at an inappropriate close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like he was doing for all of his warm-ups in the playoffs. That's pretty um, good. I don't think that kick would have been good from inside of the end zone. 